Okay, it's the next morning uh, after I did the video on the 2547 showing how stable it was on frequency uh, after it warmed up. <clears throat> but I had forgotten to do one yesterday when it was cold. So this radio has been sitting overnight, I don't know, probably 15 hours now, close to 15 hours. So anyway, it's been sitting, has not been on yet today. It should be on um, wherever it was yesterday, uh, 375, I think. Um, 27.375. I think that's where we left it. So I'm going to turn it on and see how far off it is when it's cold. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it was, yeah, it was off you know, a little bit. Not as much as I thought it would be. Um, but the thing is, when you transmit with it, it's off. You know, you can see the difference there. What's that? Four tenths of a KC? Not as stable as yesterday. And when you turn the clarifier on and off. Yeah. So if you remember yesterday's video. Or just go back and look at it. Um, nothing changed when the clarifier was on or off. And when you transmit or receive. So I am going to give it uh, about 15 minutes. Let's see. Here's the clock. Up here. Now this clock is an hour ahead. But. Um, 11.40. So I'm going to give it till uh, almost 12 noon. I'll come back in here when it's almost 12 noon and resume the video. And let's see how, how it acts then. Okay. Alright, I'm going to pause it and be back shortly. Okay. I'm back. I came back in here. I haven't touched anything. Uh, I think that's 15 minutes. And such a glare on that clock. I think we're about, it's been about 15 minutes. I wasn't even in the room. I uh, haven't touched anything on here. So, well, it's still not on a zero. Um, the last digit. But, let me see. Okay, so now with the clarifier on or off. I've seen it flicker for a second there. I noticed that yesterday. In fact, it's always done that, actually, when you... Yeah, okay. But it's still staying basically on the one, whether the clarifier is on or off. And let's see, with the transmit... Yeah, okay, so it's staying there. Unlike earlier, remember it flickered from transmit to receive. Oh, let me try with the clarifier in the other position. I need to put that tone generator app back on here. Um, anyway, so that's 15 minutes, much more stable, not on zero. But, you know, I did notice yesterday lots of times it, on 375 when it had the one on there. Other frequencies it does not. And... And I just happened to be on 375 yesterday. Um, anyway, all right, that's just to show it cold. I think I, think I accomplished that. Um, yesterday, I don't know if I mentioned it, I had like two, to th two contacts for sure. A third one where I think he got the call sign wrong, so I don't count those. They were all three very brief, but the two uh, where the other station had the call sign correct, um, <clears throat> on any of those yesterday, I never touched this clarifier. You know, this thing, once I had this set up from a year or so ago, if the other stations are on, uh, you know, the same frequency. I hate to use the term on frequency, because as Mobile Mike always says, you are on the frequency you're transmitting on. <laughs> but anyway... Basically, yesterday, anybody I heard um, was good enough that I never touched the clarifier. And those those two or three contacts I had um, never said it was off. They sounded fine. So let's just see here. Oh, 
Oh, down at the low end, it was, yeah, see, down, down on channel one. It's flickering back and forth. It must be, like, right on the verge, right? The, uh, the five is, is KC's. The, uh, zero and the nine is a tenth of a KC. So it must be less than a half of a tenth of a KC. That would be five hundredths of a KC off, and that's why it's flickering back and forth. Looks like it's settled down there. Okay, put it on AM. Yeah. Hey, I just thought of something. So let's go back up here to like 385. Make sure on upper side it's on the zeros. I mean on zero. Anyway, I'm incredibly satisfied with it. I wish I did a video like this when this radio came out of the box a couple years ago because um, it was just, it was horrible. Like, just as an example, on 385, you know, out of the box, it was, I think, uh, it was like this. It was a 4 with a 6. After This was after it warmed up a couple years ago when it was brand new. Let me see if I can, yeah. So it would look like that when you when it eventually settled down. So it was definitely off. <clears throat> and then when you transmitted with it, it would be up the other way. It would be off in the other direction. It would look like a, a one or two. It would look like that when you were transmitting. Um, so it was horrible. And I used an external frequency counter and got it perfect according to the external counter and uh, so then these would both be the same, whatever they were. Like, it was still off. Like, uh, we'll just just pretend it was like that. I forget the exact numbers. So it would stay transmit and receive the same. But um, but this display was off. There's a separate adjustment right on the back of the counter, or the display board or the counter. I guess it is a real counter, I believe. I don't think it's just a display. I don't know. I don't know. You know, a lot of these radios, it's just a display. It's not measuring anything. But whatever way it is on here, um, it was wrong. It was off. So I found that adjustment. Um, it's actually depicted in the serv the actual service manual, not the book that comes with the radio. And once I got that right, it matched my external counter, and I've been satisfied with it ever since. Yeah, we don't use the best of the best test equipment here, but for my purposes, it's perfect. And I think the radio uh, performs absolutely correctly now. And it's full legal limit. <laughs> it's a full 12 watts PEP on sideband. So full legal limit for CB. Unmodified, like I said, there's no switches on this radio um, to put it any results. Uh, after, uh, let me turn that off. There it's, after it goes from 40, wait a minute, is that clarifier on or off? No, it's off. Okay. Um, goes back around to one, starts over. So as far as where it goes and how it puts out, it's in its out-of-the-box condition. All I did was get the frequency to work, uh, to be a little more um, accurate. I don't, know, I don't know about stable. I think it, it once it warmed up, it was always stable. It just wasn't on. Um, so, All right, I'm rambling on now. Let me get out of here. Again, Mobile Mike, if you see this video... Make a comment or something. Tell me what you think. Wow, this video really went long. Eight minutes. Coming up on nine minutes. I'll get out of here. 7-3. We'll talk to you later. Uh, this is another amazing radio. Can't can't um, get out of here without just mentioning the HF-618. Continuous coverage, 24-0 to 32.0. Continuous in one KC steps, if you want, with this real VFO. Might be my favorite um, 10 slash 12 meter radio. Uh, pretty amazing with the touch. It has a touch screen too. Check that out online for anyone that's not familiar with it. This radio by Ranger is just, I think, phenomenal. And stable. Unbelievably stable, really. Uh, all right. I might put that on today and have some contacts. And, of course, we do have a 7300 here. That radio has probably been on the least in the past couple months. All right. 7-3.